a beautiful person, and welcome back to Omega Cove Movie Reviews. Today, we're re reviewing arguably the best Batman movie ever made. Batman The Dark Knight. This is the two-disc special edition. Christian Bale at the front. At the front, the spine, and the back. Heath Ledger, Christian Bale, two amazing actors. Rest in peace. Heath Ledger, um, didn't set a runtime anywhere, I don't think. Oh, there it is, 145 minutes approximate time. And the rest of the discs. There we go. This is the, um, the film disc. Here is the special edition. I'll probably watch this one later because I really love this movie and Heath Ledger, who unfortunately died before this movie even came out due to accidental opens. There he is in Batman interrogation scene on the backwards. So let's get into the plot of this movie. So the plot of this movie is where basically this bank gets robbed by these two robbers and the last one comes out of his Joker and he's up and coming this big crime person and Batman he meant he really wants to um catch this guy everyone wants to catch him and what happens is he eventually what he does is capture two people Rachel and Two-Face who would later become Two-Face and Basically, what happened was Batman tried to save Rachel, but ended up saying Two-Face by accident because Joker told him the coordinates after Joker was captured, after Batman caught him, after Joker wanted, to, wanted Batman to kill him to break his only rule. So that's basically the plot of this movie. And then basically Joker manipulates Two-Face after Rachel's death. To hate Batman and become a crime, you know, a man of crime. That's basically the plot of this movie. So let's get on to the actors. So plot already, five out of five stars. Um, excitement all the way through. I was never bored to watching this movie. Even when I rewatch it, it's still an amazing movie. Um, actors and characters, five out of five stars. You got Kristen Bale. Heath Ledger, Michael Caine, Jerry Oldman, uh, Morgan Freeman, amazing actors in this movie, and they all do amazing. Heath Ledger especially, I think he did absolutely phenomenal in this movie, and in my opinion, he is the best Joker out of all the Jokers, in my opinion, personally. Um, yes, okay, I didn't really like um, Rachel, Rachel Dawns, I don't like her in this movie. I think she's a bit, yeah. Her acting wasn't great. Her romance with Two Face wasn't great. Like they were talking, I didn't like her in this movie. So still, but still, five out of five stars for all the great actors in this movie. I weighed out one actor I didn't really like, so still five out of five stars. Um, Legacy it made one billion dollars in the box office, which back in two thousand eight was almost unheard of. Well, besides, you know. Um, what do you call it? Titanic and God, I forget. I forget the name. Uh, uh it's that blue person movie. I, I don't even know what it is. But um, yeah, it was almost unheard of. All the Batman movies did really great. This one especially, and rightly so. It's an amazing movie. So yeah, I give Batman: The Dark Knight. Five out of five stars. One extra star for a tribute to Heath Ledger, who didn't even get to see the movie himself because he died of accidental overdose before the movie actually released. So, it's pretty depressing, actually, because he was the best Joker, and he was planning to return in The Dark Knight Rises. Imagine, oh, imagine him being in the scene. That would have been incredible. But, yeah, that's basically... The plot and all that. So six out of five stars for the Dark Knight. 
I definitely recommend watching this movie, even if you're not a fan of DC or Batman for that. Amazing movie. Amazing villain. Amazing protagonist in Kristen Bale. I still think he's one of the best Batmans. Incredible movie. So yeah, shows you all the two discs. So everyone, if you could please like this video and subscribe down below. Leave a comment down below of what you want to see next because I have a lot of movies in my collection. Alright, goodbye everyone.